Hello everyone, welcome to your next um, Framework 7 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll try to link, see how to link to external pages or uh, external pages we created. So first of all, you get to your 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 folder and uh, create a new page. We can call um, new text file. We can call it pro about about page. Okay and .html so we've created it and um, say yes and we open it with our editor code lobster as you can see it's empty so we need to create another page here so that when then we create a link here so when we click on it it should bring up to, to this guy here to this uh, about page let's copy the structure of a page we've created before already so I'll just copy this guy and uh, copy then come to about page and paste it so that we don't have to retype everything first of all we change the, the name to about and uh, then we change the great about page about us okay so that settled uh, we have to go back to index this will take us back to index and um, what else are we missing welcome to a okay about page okay um, we have the basic structure of a page right here so we need to link to it from uh, index for instance so we come here in the body of the index page content content we can enter a link otherwise we can come here and enter um, about page so we can enter about let's link to about page and say you don't need the hash sign again to link to a real uh, page what you will just do uh, is to enter the URL sorry okay so let's go and check out we head over to our browser and refresh that's settled we click this and it takes us to about page. Look at it about us. I hope these um, these things uh, you're finding these things very easy to to do. There is a way to to link to pages or load pages from your from JavaScript. So uh, I will just quickly see how to load new pages from JavaScript. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be putting you through with um, how to do one or two more things, especially programmatically. How to assess pages and manipulate them from the JavaScript end. All right. Um, remember, we just have a basic app application here, and this is the, the title of my app. And uh, our app is linked to an external page called About, and this is the About Us page. And we don't have any specific thing there, and we can still go back. All right. Um, what we can do is try to assess, assess the page and insert content from the JavaScript side. Remember, we have a um, we have uh, okay remember we have uh, about page and the different pages there, there is a way to assess like I told you before um, framework 7 works like jQuery if you, if you know jQuery at all you understand it's framework 7 so we want to um, assess the uh, all pages and do something that when any page happens the only difference between framework 7 and um, jQuery is that it uses the double um, double dollar sign that the only major difference so we want to do something when any page starts any page at all on our website so what we'll do is um on page in it page in it oops this guy should be inside these guys okay on page in it we can say um function function and we'll just insert a variable and say e and this is all you have to do when any page starts so uh, this pretty, pretty much opens up um, do anything whenever any page starts uh, let's just scream hello so um, any page on our site at all will work whenever this thing will happen whenever any page starts um, a good way to 
first state is to actually hit our app and, and try to see if we are correct. So we'll refresh and um, um, we we'll just reload and, um, and nothing happened which means we have an error somewhere so we go through document on this is page init that is page init it was just a spelling error we should just scream this hello whenever this page starts and um, refresh and what we have um, nothing happens because it's the app that initi initialized but when we click on any page what do we have a pop-up saying hello look at it hello and um, okay if we get back and go to the products we we'll see a pop-up saying hello so that's one way to control whatever happens in in any page but then we can still manipulate this to do whatever to do something when um, okay um, we can manipulate this to do something when a specific page opens one way to do that is to is to manipulate what we have in the other parameters so we can add a new parameter here and say um, any uh, div that contains uh, the title page, the, the class page, you know, um, your pages have names. You have class page, then you have data page about. So we're saying um, if the class, if the class is page dot class, remember from CSS, if the class is page and um, there is a data page an attribute called data page and that attribute is equals to about uh, do something crazy so we can say um, a lot and uh, say do something crazy it's that simple so we come here and refresh and um, we're in the products page but if we click to get to about page um, what just happened? Um, let me find out. Okay, um, we just check our code and see if we made any mistake. Yeah, that was a very terrible mistake. There should be a comma here. Um, all right. Uh, what we are basically saying is, whenever we load the page, just check um, if the page is about um, do this. So whatever code we are going to put when the when we load the page, this is where we we'll put them. So for now, we want to do a pop-up and we get back to our page. Just make sure our, our script is saved and we reload. And that brings us back to... Um, I'm going to navigate back to what we have here and click get back to the home page. So um, we're back to the home page. And um, what we can do is just to click our about and it pulls up this do something crazy and um, it, before it brings up the about page yeah, I want you to notice that it, this actually happens before the about page comes up so if we click on about page the pop-up executes before the about page shows up alright so whatever you want to do maybe you want to uh, retrieve data from database uh, maybe you want to call data from a website list of users or whatever or you want to check if this guy is already logged in this is a good place to, to to do that anything that will happen before the page loads so uh, we can we can try out something within a minute or two but there is another way to approach this situation here if we wanted to check for about page i'll write an alternative um, method for for checking pages and um let's just quickly since remember we initialized this app at the beginning and, and call it my app so we can use whatever name we use here, whatever variable we used and say app my app dot uh, on page init on page init be careful about the lettering whether it's capital or small on page init then we can say if the page is about page um, just execute this function that function you can just put an e and then we open two bracelets and um, so whatever we do here will show up as same thing it's quite simple and um, if you if you're not comfortable with this pattern you can use this pattern and uh, I will just comment this guy out so that it doesn't obstruct what we are doing if you want to remove uh, if you want to add comments in JavaScript this is how to do that I just added this um, I don't, this guy will not be part of the page again so this is what will happen if, if we load about page and remember this about here is the same 
name here all right so we get back to our code and then we refresh there's a pop-up because this is about page the pop-up shows up and um, see how dutifully the the icon loads this icon is loading because we did something here we're telling it to load ajax icons while a page is waiting to load so that's a very cool way to to do that so other um, other things we can do let's try and do something crazy with the little time we have let's do um, something crazy inside about page after about page has loaded we can see if for instance we can pass a value variable to an about page we can pass a variable um, one way we can do it is that from our home page this link goes to about we can say hey this is um, a get request and um, you can just say five as mean there is a number we want to pass or the, the we can get the ID of the particular user that clicks this button and put it here in the background using JavaScript so if this user clicks to see about they will see their profile we can use this code to come to the about page and retrieve their data you can use this ID and say hey get to the database um, get to database online online and um, database online and retrieve the the retrieve the, the details of this user using their ID we can do stuff like that we can do other crazy stuff and um, so we can check whether something is passed in we can say hey um, we can declare something and call it uh, var count equals page dot query count and say um, var list html equals ul remember list this is another we are trying to make a list in the page and um, generate some value variables and loop through so what we can do is um, from i is equals to zero until i is um, less than count if you've never programmed before what, what i'm trying to do now may looks may look um, a little difficult to grasp but i'll just explain it and it's simple it's just to show you how things can work in um, how you can use do some crazy javascript in framework 7 what we can do is um, li and um, let's say plus i I'll quickly explain what we are doing so you will just grasp it then at the end we can just append we can say list html list html equals plus equals to um, ul ul and finally we can append it. Remember in jQuery, we can say page dot container dot find and say page if the class is page content page content. Um, what you will do is append append list HTML. That being said and settled, what we can, what, what this is trying to do is a check uh, the query that is coming to this page. Um, just assign the query to count, and um, there is a we did count here. Um, count. Then loop through. Do a loop that will start from zero and end at the number, whatever number that is the value that is coming here and that number is five we enter five there then um, when you look through just print lists then inside each list just put the number for the first time it will look the number will be zero the next time the number will be one next time the number will be zero, and so on and so forth then at the end add the closing ul tag and um, 
go to the page content and insert it at the bottom of the page content. Remember, this is the page content. This is the page content. We already have this. It will just append it at the bottom of this guy here. All right, that that has been done. Uh, we'll go and refresh and see if we are correct. Let's go back and refresh. This is our home page. Then we click on about. It loads. All right, this will not work here because we're using this pattern. We can use the first the first pattern then I'll show you how to manipulate dif different pages inside here and that is where it will work so um, just abandon this code then come here come into this first page th this first way to manipulate all pages we can inside this code we can check if the page first of all we can just um, declare the page variable we can say hey page and then um, assign it to e detail dot page all right, and then the next thing we can do is to check if the page dot name is if the page name is equal to about. Then if it's about, then do what we wanted to do. What we wanted to do before was just to check the query and uh, look through the number of times the query is and just print the numbers. Okay, so we just copy what we have here, copy, cut, and then come here. If the page is about, do the same thing. Then if you are doing this, you can still do here if uh, page.name is equal to uh, product. You can still do stuff for products and uh, a lot products. So depending on what you really, uh, you can manipulate several multiple pages here right inside this um, first method for doing that. So what we can do is uh, now we have this and we have looked through. Uh, let's just see what, what will happen in the about page. So we get back to our about page and um, on and refresh. This is our index page. We refresh it first, then we hit on about. See what happened? It printed from zero to four, which is one, two, three, four, five, five numbers because we passed in five. Uh, just to be sure that this is what is happening, let's just make it be pin. Then we go and refresh and check refresh and check um, we come back here we refresh then that 15 is already here so we we'll click on this it takes us to 15 as you can see and this is the first time we are testing that nav bar fixed this guy is fixed so you can see the content sliding under it and uh, this bottom is fixed so you can see the content sliding under it that's the meaning of what we have here if we want to do something to just to check, uh, that's the meaning of what we have in navbar fixed, two bar fixed. All right, navbar fixed and two bar fixed. That's it. All right, see you in the next tutorial where we'll do more amazing stuff. I hope you now get an idea of what the 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 how to manipulate pages using JavaScript. In the next tutorials, we'll do other crazy things that are not um, technical like this. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.